Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing today? It's Professional here. So today I took a look at the Rockstar Newswire and I saw that they're gonna update Reddit online on February 26th. And you know, a lot of people, they asked me, why do you think they changed GTA Online's event week schedule? Because GTA Online, it would get a new event week every Tuesday, but they went from Tuesdays to Thursdays. And I told people it's probably because they're gonna update Reddit online on a Tuesday. I was right on that. So let's take a look at this Newswire post. Let's read everything in detail. Let's see if there's some good and bad things in this update coming up. So Reddit Online beta update February 26th. Let's see right here. The next set of updates and new features is set to be added to Reddit Online Beta on February 26th as we implement many new improvements and enhancements to the game's open world, including a new law and bounty system, weapons balancing, changes to player blips on the mini-map, and more. Read on for details about these changes and stay tuned next week to learn about some of the other new content coming in this update. So, you know, one thing that has me already concerned is that I don't really see any kind of like property in here and you know this game in my personal opinion they really need to add some kind of property because so many players they've already purchased the, all, the horses that they like they already have them they have all the guns a lot of people even have all, all all the clothing in the game already so why aren't they adding more things to the game because if you're just gonna keep grinding and grinding for money but there's not really much to spend it on you know that's that's a problem for the game so take a look right here, see a new law and bounty system. Wondering how that will work, they'll probably detail that below. Weapons balances, changes to player blips. Let's read each one. Let's start with player visibility. As part of our response to community feedback on how to minimize certain types of destructive player behavior, we've made some changes to the way player blips will appear on the map. Firstly, we're reducing the visibility of blips over long distances. Your map position won't display to other players unless you are nearby within 150 meters. And if you are slightly further away, you will only appear when firing your weapon. Players in other towns or regions, for example, won't be visible. This prevents players from being repeatedly targeted across the map at long distances. I like that. I like people not being able to know exactly where you are. You know, it'll prevent griefing and you can play with your friends. I just wondering how this system is going to work exactly they're saying that they're not going to appear on your map unless they're within 150 meters of you but if they shoot at longer distances they will appear on the map so curious how that'll work um it also says players in other towns or regions for example won't be visible that is actually really good um i really hope that 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 that's not based on the 150 meters like if you're in a town with other players that they won't appear on the map i hope that doesn't happen because you know one thing that i don't like is when I'm hunting for pelts, I hunt a lot of pelts, and then I go into like a town to sell, and I see like there's a war zone going on there, and there's so many people just killing each other in that town, and all I wanna do is sell my pelts, but I'm not even gonna risk going in the town because I'm gonna be fired upon instantly, and I'm gonna lose my pelts. So you know, they, if they had a feature where you didn't see other players in towns, I think that that would be good. I mean, I mean, I would probably wanna see players to some degree in cities and towns, but you know, I just wish that if you're going to like the butcher or something like that, that you're not targeted during those things. We're also introducing a new system that highlights overly aggressive players. Okay, kind of like GTA, kind of like the mental state, you know, how players in GTA Online, they had the mental state where they would be red on the map if they were hostile. If your style of play becomes more hostile, your map position and the position of your posse members will become more visible to other players. With progressively darkening dot that, that incrementally shifts from blue to dark red, your visibility increases through bad deeds such as attacking, such as attacking and killing other players or their horses outside of a structured mode free roll missions, uh, mission event or competition, and the shorter the time between bad acts, the more your visibility increases. Shift back to a more righteous path and your visibility will fade over time. So it looks like it's towards players here. Players, I just really hope that if you if you're like have a low honor, if you start killing NPCs, that doesn't appear towards players. It looks like it's just towards players from what I'm reading here, but I'm I'm not I'm not entirely against that because you'll be able to see who's hostile on the map. You'll be able to see who kills a lot of players. Like if somebody's coming near you and they're a blue dot, chances are they're not going to shoot at you. But if you know if somebody's red, you know dark red, like it says right here, you're, you're going to know they're you're going to know they're hostile. So people aren't going to be able to be jumped as easily. We're also introducing posse-wide parlays and improving feuds. You'll soon be able to initiate parley that applies to your attacker's entire posse after just a single kill. Alternatively, if you'd rather challenge your opponent, you can initiate a feud, posse feud, or a leader feud. After one kill, quickly turning a dispute into a timed mini deathmatch for rival players to fight out amongst themselves in free mode, earning points for each kill on the opposing player. They added a little bit of, a, of an activity here, kind of like kind of like the 1v1s that you had in GTA Online, you know, when you would get killed by somebody and then you would invite them to those 1v1s and then like you could only see those people on the map. But the problem is that other people could still see you on the map and they could attack you, but you couldn't see them. Yeah, I, I don't really, um, personally me, I don't really care much for this because I don't, I don't get into PvP often. I don't get, in, I don't get into it with other players, but let me know down below what do you guys think of this. 
let's see right here bounty hunters and law balancing this is the part that has me interested the most this is what i'm curious about the most at the same time players who have racked up high bounties will have a chance to be beset by npc bounty hunters who will attempt to kill them and collect their reward criminal behavior will have a bounty will have bounty values and honor consequences that scale based on the severity of the crime for example killing another player could incur a higher bounty while assaulting townsfolk or animal cruelty could give you a lesser bounty if the crime is reported while lower level crimes like looting and ransacking will only decrease your honor if your bounty exceeds a certain threshold and bounty hunters take notice you will be wanted dead and alerted to their, to their pursuit the higher your bounty the greater your value and the more difficult the pursuit becomes for you and your posse now this this could either be this could either be a fun new feature or this could be completely broken and annoying and what i mean by that is it says here collect their reward the bounty hunters will be able to collect their reward i really hope that i don't mind them adding a bounty system to the online but i really hope if they add a bounty system and you survive that bounty that you get some kind of big reward you get a big cash bonus or something like that because if they add this feature where you have this big bounty on you and there's no reward for there's no reward for surviving it then what's going to be the point of even committing crimes you know because you're going to have these bounty hunters chase you across the map. Imagine imagine you're invited to a posse, right? You're in a posse, and that posse is hunting. And then all of a sudden, the bounty hunters spawn because one guy in the posse has a, has a huge bounty. And then, the, and then the rest of the posse, they'll get pissed off because these bounty hunters are swarming them while they're trying to do missions or they're trying to, uh, they're trying to hunt. So that could, that, that could become annoying. I just really hope that there's some kind of a reward. There has to be some kind of reward for surviving the bounty. If there's no reward for surviving the bounty, then there's no point in committing crimes. There has to be a reward for surviving the bounty. That is very important. They need to add that in. Now, daily challenges. Let's take a look here. We will also be adding a variety of daily challenges to take on across the Red Dead Online beta. Complete individual objectives that cover every aspect of life on the frontier to earn gold, nuggets, and XP. Challenges will range from foraging for herbs, um, selling items at a fence, hunting and skinning animals, clearing hideouts, winning feuds, and so much more. These daily challenges will continue to expand and evolve over time, bringing specialty challenges and rewards, streak, streak bonuses, and more. Okay, so they added a daily challenge. Um, that's not it's not entirely bad. It's, that's a new activity to do there. But at the same time, is I hope that these daily challenges that they're not something outrageous because in GTA Online, some of the some of the challenges that they have you do could be really annoying. Like for instance, they would tell you to win a last team standing for a daily challenge, but almost nobody plays last team standing, and you can't find a match of last team standing unless you invite a friend. And um, the other challenges, the other challenges in GT Online, it was like one that was like kill 20 players. I think that was one of them. Like imagine if they add a daily challenge like that, kill 20 players. P people are going to go crazy for these daily challenges and they're going to start killing other people while they're hunting and doing other things. Uh, so I hope that they don't add challenges like that where you have to kill 20 players. I really don't want something like that. They should add challenges like, you know, kill this number of NPCs, get a bounty or something like that. I just hope that it's not nothing like it says feuds here, but I hope it's not something like like where you just have to kill like 20 players that would not be good other fixes and more your feedback has been invaluable so please keep it coming in addition to these updates we are planning to address several additional changes based on community feedback received thus far select weapons will be rebalanced including the varmint rifle i think a lot of people want that weapon balanced um i've been killed a lot by that weapon you know it's a 22 um very small um very small caliber but yet people are just sniping sniping each other they're literally sniping each other at long distances and that thing has this huge fire rate barely any recoil you just shoot them in the head and it's over unless they have that hat perk but still it's it's that i'm glad they're balancing that gun which will have its accuracy brought more in line of other long arm weapons voice chat will be reduced to work at closer proximity okay that's pretty good because you know sometimes i get into voice chat with people that are so far from me and I, and I get confused by that and while fixes to horse cargo are numerous and ongoing we plan to introduce some improvements to making pelts and carcasses more persistent after death or responding okay this is definitely a plus here i think a lot of people are going to be happy with this um one thing that's really annoying about red dead online is when you're hunting for so long you hunt so much you collect so many pelts you collect a carcass you skin so many animals collect so much meat from them and then some random player just comes over and kills you you lose all the pelts you lose the carcass that can get really annoying so you know if they keep it on your horse i can understand if your horse like dies or something you lose the pelts but if it's if it's like where you just get shot off your horse and your horse is still there you shouldn't lose the pelts and now we will have more details on additional content in the February 26th update next week. 
We are excited about the future of Red Dead Online and look forward to sharing lots more in the in the weeks and months ahead. Meanwhile, there are chances to earn more XP to rank up ahead of February 26. Playing in a posse will bring benefits like increased XP and free roam missions and free roam events. Posse up this week to earn twice as much increased XP on these activities and next week earn 20% more XP across all activities in Red Dead Online. So they're they're doing some kind of event week. They're doing their first event week on Red Dead Online. I'm very happy with that. I just hope they add something with money in the future, you know? Double money on stranger missions or something like that. Or, you know, double money like hunting deer or something something along those lines, you know? Some kind of money event weeks. I hope they add those in the future. I think a lot of people would like those. Um, definitely a plus that they're at, they're doing an event, an event week coming up here. But, you know, reading everything here, everything that I've read so far... There's no properties. There's no um, There's no properties. Not really much new activities. I mean, we have the bounty hunters and the daily challenges, but I don't see any really any new missions. We need some new missions in this game. We need some new properties, some kind of property. Like, I'm not talking like GTA Online property, but like some kind of property, maybe like where you can own an apartment in St. Denis or, you know, or, you know, some kind of business, maybe like a moonshine business. Make it realistic to the Wild West. Make it fit a Wild West setting, you know, something along those lines. That, that we need. We need that for new activities. We need new things to do. I think a lot of people could agree with me on that. And we also need, um, we also need new things to spend money on. Like a new, a new property would be a good way to spend money. Like I saw how they, I saw how they did the camp upgrades. Imagine if we had like, you know, a house in St. Denis or an apartment in St. Denis and you could customize and move around the furniture. Things like, like you could in the camp, like changing the different, the different stuff around in the camp. I think a lot of people would appreciate that. They need to add a lot more things to this game to purchase because if people are getting all this money from all these missions and they don't really have much to spend it on, like, I know I know people, I've played with people who already have all the guns, they have the horse they like, they don't need any new horses, they have all the horse upgrades, they have majority of the clothes, they don't really need anything else. And they feel like, they feel like they're grinding money for basically nothing except ammo. So they really need to, they really need to add a new activity, add something to make money, add something new, to, a new way to make money, and add new things to spend money on. We need new things. There's, I understand it can't be like GTA Online where we can have this huge system because the internet didn't exist back then. It was over 120 years ago. But, you know, have something like some kind of property, some kind of customization with that, you know, something else to spend money on. I think a lot of people would appreciate that. So that's my reaction to Red Dead Online um, new update. Let me know down below. What do you guys think of it? Um, do you guys think that they're eventually going to add properties? What do you guys think of everything here? Do you like the player visibility? Do you like the bounty hunters? Do you like the daily challenges? Let me know down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.